Yo, what is up guys? Uh, today is July 11th. I'm doing another book review today. Today we're going to be talking about Super Intelligence uh, by Nick Bostrom. And I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, as the title suggests, the book is about super intelligence, or particularly it's about artificial intelligence, uh, general AI. And the book is extraordinarily in-depth. This is probably the most difficult book I've had to read in a very long time uh, in terms of how thorough it is and just reading it. It was very dense. Um, along those lines, honestly, there's a lot of this I didn't understand. That's just kind of what happens whenever you're reading the philosophy of science and your name is Eduardo. That's, But I was able to pick up on some of the, the macro trends and particularly of interest to me was the ethical implications of artificial intelligence. And as I do with these books, I start off with the negatives and then go to the positives. I think that the negative about this book for me is that the middle of the book was very difficult to get through. I actually wanted to give up at one point, but I didn't because I felt that since I started it, I had to finish it. And so I think just, I, you know, for some people, this is maybe, maybe the beginning part is really interesting for me, particularly, I thought that it was kind of like getting through the mud in order to get to the really good stuff, which was the last two chapters where I think, uh, you know, Professor Bostrom really actually demonstrates his, uh, you know, the value that he brought in filming this, in writing this book. I'm sorry, not filming, he's writing. Because that's really where he gets into sort of the philosophical, uh, ethical implications of artificial intelligence, uh, what it means in terms of its impact on humans, how do we develop AI such that uh, it's to the benefit uh, of all humanity and it doesn't put anyone at particular risk, and... What does a framework in which we start creating and building this general AI look just from a pure a priori, or not a priori, but just from, I can't think of the word that I'm looking for, but from an ethical point of view. Um, yeah, so I think that that also leads me to the pro, or that kind of was the pro as well, which is that it just was really rewarding to read something that is so thoroughly researched and it's very clear that you know professor bostrom is probably the leading eminent philosopher uh, in terms of artificial intelligence and the, the ethics of its development so in all i give this book for me personally a four out of five stars just because there was you know the difficulty i had in getting through it um but I still would recommend it to anyone who wants to know more about uh, artificial intelligence from a macro perspective and also just from a philosophical perspective as well. See you guys in the next video. Peace.